And today we're going to continue to tell you the history of Christmas music. We've got a few collections today. And the first is? Old Little Town of Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. It's a popular Christmas carol. The text was written by Philip Brooks, uh, an Episcopal priest, rector of the Church of Holy Trinity. Most of these things are not Christmas songs. They're hymns for the churches. you believe that? Or do you think it's a traditional Christmas song? For, we haven't really ran into a whole bunch of songs. There actually Christmas. haven't been a whole lot of them. Which actually, it's really surprising. Yeah. It, uh, three years later, you see, he wrote the poem. Let's see, he was visiting the, uh, ch the, the city of Palestine, of Bethlehem, in 1865. Three years later, he wrote the poem for his church, as a, an or and his organist, Louis Renner, added the music. It, uh, Renner's tune is simply titled Saint Louis. Saint Louis is the tune in most often used, which means the people that, the people that did Peter Pan tennis do Mm. But but more highbrow than mm -hmm. so um, in the United Kingdom and sometimes U.S. especially in the Episcopal Church the uh, hymn tune Forest Green is used instead. Forest Green was adapted by Robert Vaughn Williams from an English folk ballad called the Plowboy Dream, which actually makes sense because um, Peter Pan was written in England. So oh was yeah. Oh yes, uh, and it was a it was uh, basically which he collected from a, Mr. Jarman of Forest Green, Gloucester, in 1903. The tune adapted into a hymn tune was first published as an English hymn. It's not a Christmas song; it's another hymn, folks. Another version by H. Waterford Davis called why, why do they call this stupid beach? It's sometimes called Christmas carols. Used to perform by choirs rather than a congressional hymn. I agree. This because the first two phrases are for treble voices with organ accompaniment. So um, this uh, basically, this because the first two verses verses are for treble voices with organ accompaniment, it's only the final verses of choral uh, refined harmony. This setting includes a recite from the Gospel of Luke at the beginning and cuts verses two and four of the original five verse carol. This version is traditionally used at the services of nine lessons. So um, uh, here we go. This is the one that basically the this is one that basically isn't supposed to be sang, but everybody Why? sings. No. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Yep. Oh, okay. Here we go. There we go. Oh, little town of Bethlehem. How still we see thee lie above thy deep and streamless sleep. The silent stars go by. And in thy dark streets shine us the everlasting light. And thy hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. <laughs> Do you see why I'm not singing her in the Christmas special? The angels keep their watch of wandering love. O morning stars together proclaim the holy birth, and praises sing to God thy King, and peace to man on earth. That's a neat one, but this one, this one. Joy to the world. The, basically, everybody has done joy to the world. And they've all changed it to their own version. Oh, God, it's been a rock and roll version. It's been a... Bum, 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 joy to the world, a newborn king. And then you go, hey, 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 joy to the world. So the words by the words are by English hymn writer. There's not another. There's not a church it's Christmas a hymn. song. Another hymn based on Psalm 98 in the Bible, first published in 1719 in Watts collection. The Psalms of David initiated the language of the New Testament and fresh and applied to the Christian state of worship. Rose, word, Watts wrote the words that the joy. I actually, got to go get dental work done. To the world is a hymn. It's going to find Christ's triumphal return at the end of. Uh, hey, hey, this is this is a celebration of Christ is returning from the dead, folks. Mm -hmm. Had nothing to do with Christmas. Only the second half of the hymn is the. It's going to be an Easter song then. Yeah, it should be an Easter song, which is funny. Basically, the music was adapted and arranged to watch lyrics by Lowell Mason in 1839 from an older melody, which was then believed to have originated from Handel. Yeah, mm -hmm. basically Handel seemed to have Handel a lot. Handel done a lot. Handel basically has another name. 
but basically it's very hard to pronounce, so that's why they well, call Well, Handel Mando. and Mendelssohn are the two names that we keep hearing over and over again. Yeah. Talking about Christmas. Uh, it, appears in the or it appears in the orchestra opening and accompaniment of the recital Comfort Ye from Handel's Messiah again. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff out of Handel's Messiah. Mm -hmm. In the first four notes, Mass the beginning, the chorus is lift up your head and glory to the God from the same uh, oratorio. However, Handel did not compose the entire tune. The name Antioch is generally used for the tune. Uh, basically, is the most in, in, as a, in the 20th century, Joy of the World is the most published Christmas hymn in the United. Well, because the whole world, basically, you rock it. Everybody does. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king, let every heart prepare him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and uh -huh. heaven and nature, and, you know, basically, it's basically the rocket, but now we can do the, we can do the traditional one, so. Ah, see, I don't know the rock version. No, I did not. Remember, uh. Uh, uh, remember um, Green's Clearwater Revival? Joy to the world! The, you know, all the boys and girls. All the, boy, all the boys and girls, because basically... Joy to the fishes in the great blue. Yeah, blue no, sea. but that's what it is. They, it's the same, they just, uh, they just dump parts of the things they put the subject to. Oh, it. did they really? Yeah, it's basically wow. joy. That is joy to, to the world. world. Let all the boys and girls see. All the boys and girls. Yeah, see, joy no. Joy to the fishes in the deep blue sea. Down. Yeah, that's, basically they rocked it. It's been a country standard, it's a gospel standard, but it is not a Christmas song again. Well, you know, we can sit there and change what? it. Let's we'll make this a country song. Yeah, We'll joy. make it a, um, a, a rock song. Yeah. Uh, what we can do, uh, we'll make it a rock song. Okay. Dum dum de da di dum dum de da di dum dum de da di dum. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. Dum de dum de da dum. Joy to the world. The sovereign reigns. Let men then strongs employ. While fields and floods, rocks and hills repeat thy sound in joy. Repeat the sound in joy, repeat the sounding joy. So you can rock it. So I love that, I rock this, so I like that. See? Uh, because, we could have um, totally I know, now we're got. Now we're going to have some soloists. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, oh Christmas, Christmas tree. tree. It's also a Tannenbaum, too. So this one was actually about the Christmas tree. See, it's a Christmas tree. It doesn't mean it was about Christmas. It means it's about a tree. How many? Okay. okay. For all you boys and girls out there, this is day. Uh, this is day six. See, this was based How on. How many Christmas songs have we actually done? In all of the songs we have done. I have to listen. Okay, yeah. Oh, you two. know what? It's two. two. Okay. And ba this one was based on a traditional folk song, and became associated with Christmas by the early 20th century and sung as a Christmas carol. It's known in English as O oh, Christmas Tree. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of uh, Pageant of the Masters. Yeah. The guy's booming radio voice. Yeah, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. Ernest Antweiss mm -hmm. in 1824. Uh, 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 actually, Ernest Anschluss happens to be a great writer of mm -hmm. organ music. Mm -hmm. So he's the one, he's a sort of did it in Leipzig. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, a tandem bomb is a fir tree. The lyrics do not actually refer to Christmas at all. Or, or describe a decorated Christmas tree. Instead, they refer to the first evergreen qualities as a symbol of consistency and faithfulness. They've got a bloody pagan song. If you know anything about Christmas, fir trees, they weren't for Christmas, folks. They were for fun times. They were? Remember, remember Christmas is actually a pagan holiday. Ah, oh, that's true. 
And like every pagan holiday, what do they do? Yeah. They celebrate, have fun, and party. Yeah, basically. Right? Yeah, all sorts. It's a reason for celebration. Yeah, basically, it's a celebration. time. It, it's probably a winter solstice celebration, would be my guess, yeah, right? Yeah, so... Because was an Easter a spring solstice celebration? Yeah, as soon as the, because the, the fir tree was the one thing that was constant all the time because it doesn't... doesn't the leaves shift. don't fall. So it's basically a symbol of last, lasting, so... Mm -hmm. um, Basically, he based uh, Alshos based his text on a 16th century Sicilian folk song by Miligo Franck. Octandenbaum Johann Augustus Zarnock in 1819 wrote a tragic love song inspired by called Faithful Fir Trees, in contrast with Faithful Love, and the song can associate Christmas with Ansos. It's a, it's a tragic love song. Wait, oh, Christmas Tree's a tragic love song? Yeah, it was basically inspired by this folk song, Taking t taking the End of the River Green, as a contrasting with a faithless love, or, oh, I can find that one. The custom of the Christmas tree developed in the course of the 19th century, and the song was set, yeah, it seemed to be a Christmas carol. Um, basically, Trot Through Faithful is the adjective describing the fur as least needles, harking back to the contrast of the, of the faithless maiden in the folk song. This was changed to uh, green at some point in the 20th century is an associate with Christmas, so we get associated with Christmas. You know. uh, but basically, I don't know. But I do know the simple is old. Um, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Really? Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and drear. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, the leaves are so unchanging. Is there any of you out there that watch television know what that song is used with? What? Charlie Brown. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. That's the song. I, I did say Charlie Brown before you even said that. I yeah. made think of Charlie Brown. I know. This one, what do you do with this one? Uh, oh, uh, here we go. We're just going to rock this and Be Baba, maybe you don't mean maybe. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, the leaves are so unchanging. Oh, Christmas tree, the leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold and dear. A oh, Christmas tree, a oh, Christmas tree, the leaves are so unchanging. Not only green, but Christmas is here. Oh, oh, oh Christmas tree. And until tomorrow, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring check. I hope you're enjoying all the Christmas songs, Christmas music, and the history behind them because I certainly am enjoying bringing them to you. And of, finding out ourselves. These aren't Christmas songs. I know. I'm actually really kind of floored about it. So anyway, if you would like more information, you, you can always find it out. www.montybubble.net on the net or www.mbn news video web or more commercial site. Mm -hmm. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. If you're on Facebook, like us, follow us on Twitter, pin us on Pinterest. And stay tuned, of course, for more updates on our live stream Christmas special. Christmas is... Which, yeah, which tomorrow, I think you actually got to get to hear me. Actually, Christmas you got to get to hear me sing and, you know, I'm, I'm not going to shoot at rocket. Oh, 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 Christmas is. What do you think that Christmas is? What does it mean? It means to you. Maybe different than what it means to me. So wherever you're watching this, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to us. And of course, thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet. Merry Christmas.